to the actual process. Well, first we're gonna add tape. This. And now that we have our tape, what to do is cut around all of the edges. It makes it easy when you flip it off the boards that this tape doesn't actually get stuck to the board and beads fall. And it can be a big nightmare. So next you wanna poke holes. Uh, it's just simple, use your pen. I always use the same pen and you just poke literally every single perler that you put down. Or you can use a board. I always use mine with the X and you just line it up with the first few of your holes like this and then you just push it down. Sometimes it's kind of hard, so you really got to push. Now when you have your pegboard pushed in like this, you don't want to just yank it off because it's going to pull the tape and possibly make the beads drop. It's going to mess it all up when you flip it. It's a big pain. So I always use the tweezers and you put it underneath and you kind of just pry it up a little bit. Yes. That way the beads stay like on the board and when you actually lift this off, the beads won't go with it. That's what you want to avoid if you can. So, got to go slow. There. Okay. Still flat. None of the beads popped up. So this is what you got to be careful of. One of the beads right there fell off when I lifted the board. So there's like this little nub here. So when you put the rest of the holes in, you got to be careful because that one bead could mess up the entire area. Hopefully this helps. Like, follow, comment, and check out my other videos.